This is an order of service for noonday found on page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer, and this is the second Wednesday of Easter. And it is also Earth Day. We'll include a prayer for, for both and a brief meditation. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from second letter to the Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. Just to invite you now to participate in a brief meditation on reconciliation, that you take time and consider the completion of God's work on the death and resurrection and life of Jesus. And in this Easter tide, claim again for yourself that vision and claim that God has upon us to be, have been already completely reconciled. It's up to us to accept it. I invite you now to take some time and close your eyes and just hear this prayer for the second Sunday of Easter and the second Wednesday in Easter. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation. Grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. And just again, this reading from 2 Corinthians, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Just invite you to sit with that claim upon you that you are reconciled already to God in Christ. And that reconciliation is complete. There's nothing that God is holding back from that reconciliation. God has forgiven you completely. God loves you completely. God longs for you to accept that claim upon you, upon all of us. 
that the work of the cross and resurrection is complete and God's proclamation to us is peace. You are forgiven. Go forgive others. Accept that word on your heart deeply for yourself and for everyone you know that you are forgiven. They are forgiven. From the perspective of God and the power of God, nothing is held back. You are invited into friendship, into connection with the one who created you, the one who redeems you, the one who gives you life now, and to join with that one in new work, in new life, joining with God in Christ in the ministry of reconciliation, sharing in the work, mending, tending, caring, proclaiming the love of God to all people. Let it fill you up. Let it land on your heart. Receive that love from beyond you. It is a power greater than any human power. It grants dignity to all the claim of sacred life, the claim of the image of God already in us, every one of us. As we say in our baptismal covenant, will you seek and serve Christ in your neighbor, loving your neighbor as yourself? We never add Christ in, Christ is already there, and we simply witness together to the deepest truth about us. Christ in us, Christ called forth out of us, Christ calling us to receive love, the great love, and to give it back and join in the great pattern of creation that was there at the beginning. Breathe deeply. Take in the love of God in Christ. Receive the peace God longs to give. Let it change you from within. And then go and be about that peace that forgiveness, calling everyone back into relationship with the one who loves them, the one who died for them, the one who was raised for them and raises them and all of us and you. Amen. We continue on page 106. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And on the right for the Lord's Prayer, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. For the second Wednesday of Easter, Almighty and everlasting God, 
who in the Paschal mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation. Grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And on this Earth Day a prayer, we give you thanks, most gracious God, for the beauty of earth and sky and sea for the richness of mountains, plains, and rivers, for the songs of birds and the loveliness of flowers. We praise you for these good gifts and pray that we may safeguard them for our posterity. Grant that we may continue to grow in our grateful enjoyment of your abundant creation to the honor and glory of your name now and forever. Amen. Just invite your prayers for this time. We hold up and pray for all those in leadership in this time, those making decisions for the future of the planet, for its well being, those making decisions for the well being of people. We pray for all those serving in medical care in this time and those in service industries, those whose lives are at risk. We pray for the flattening of the curve and the ending of this time of quarantine in a way that is safe and helpful. Bless this time, this sacred time. Help us to use it well. Renew us with your spirit working in us. Help us to accept your complete reconciliation and then be about your work. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds strong in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those you love and pray for now and always. Amen. Take care.